is Weather Authority meteorologist Janice Harris taking a look at ways we can all prepare for this, Janice. Yes, some very simple ways, but by this time tomorrow, the peak of the storm will be moving through southeast Georgia and northeast Florida, as Richard just mentioned, and wind will have a major impact on all of us, even the sustained winds. Hurricane season is long gone, but as a storm approaches tonight into Tuesday morning, winds will be similar to a tropical storm. Now is the time to get any loose objects indoors, like garbage cans and patio furniture. Sustained winds 20 to 35 miles per hour and gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour are expected, and straight line winds could be even faster. There is a strong chance for downed trees and power outages. The peak of the storm is expected between noon and 7 p.m. Tuesday. Winds could also be at their peak and make driving on bridges challenging for high-profile vehicles, including school buses. So after the storm passes, temperatures will dip into the 40s overnight. Keep this in mind because if there are power outages, people will not be able to keep their homes warm. Kent? Thank you.